Brought to you by wikivd.com Apocalypto Apocalypto is a 2006 American epic adventure film directed and produced by Mel Gibson and written by Gibson and Fahad Safinia. The film features a cast of actors consisting of Rudy Young, Blood, Raul Trujillo, Mayra Sabulo, Dalia Hernandez, Ian Uriel, Gerardo Tarasina, Rodolfo Palacios, Bernardo Ruiz Juarez, Amil Rodrigo Mendoza, Ricardo Diaz Mendoza and Israel Contreras. Similar to Gibson's earlier film The Passion of the Christ, all dialogue is in a modern approximation of the ancient language of the setting. Here the Yucatec Maya language is used with English and other language subtitles, which sometimes refer to the language as Mayan, set in pre-Columbian Yucatan, and Guatemala are around the year 1511. Apocalypto depicts the journey of a Mesoamerican tribesman who must escape human sacrifice and rescue his family after the capture and destruction of his village at a time when the Mayan civilization is about to come to an end. The film was a box office success, grossing over $120 million worldwide, and received mostly positive reviews, with critics praising Gibson's direction, Dean Semler's cinematography, and the performances of the cast. Plot while hunting in the Mesoamerican rainforest, Jaguar Paul, his father Flint Sky, and their fellow tribesmen encounter a procession of refugees fleeing warfare. The group's leader explains that their lands were ravaged and they were seek a new beginning. He asks for permission to pass through the jungle. Flint Sky comments to his son that the visitors were sick with fear and urges him to never allow fear to infect him. At sunrise the next morning the tribe's village is raided by a group led by Zero Wolf. Huts are set on fire, many villagers are killed, including Flint Sky, and the rest of the adults are taken captive. Jaguar Paw's heavily pregnant wife Seven and their young son Turtles run escape by hiding in a small natural pit cave that also serves as a water reservoir, but are left trapped. When Jaguar Poor is captured, the raiders then lead the captives on a long forced march through the jungle, having left the children behind to fend for themselves. On the journey Coco Leaf, a badly wounded captive, is killed by the sadistic Middle Eye, eliciting anger from Zero Wolf, who threatens his fellow raider with death if he kills another captive without permission. As the party approaches the Mayan city from which the raiders come, they encounter raised forests and failed maize crops, along with villages decimated by an unknown disease. A little girl infected with the illness prophesies Zero Wolf's death and the end of the Mayan world. Once the raiders and captives reach the city, the females are sold as slaves while the males are escorted to the top of a steppe pyramid to be sacrificed before the Mayan king and queen. As a result of a solar eclipse and the superstitions surrounding its jaguar paw, and the remaining captives are spared from being sacrificed by beheading. Instead, they are ordered to be taken away and disposed of. They are offered freedom if they can avoid being killed during target practice by Zero Wolf and his men. After some tribesmen are killed, Jaguar Poor is severely injured, but kills Zero Wolf's son Cut Rock and escapes into the jungle. Zero Wolf sets off, with eight comrades to chase down and kill Jaguar Poor. Back in his native jungle, Jaguar Poor now has the advantage, although he is badly injured. Most of his pursuers including Zero Wolf, and Middle Eye are gradually killed off by a clever conceits and traps laid out by Jaguar Poor until there are only two left to hunt him. The drought breaks and heavy rain begins to fall, threatening to drown Jaguar Poor's family, who are still trapped in the pit cave despite their attempts to escape. 
Seven gives birth to another son, who is born into the now dangerously rising water. Meanwhile, the two remaining raiders chase Jaguar Paw out of the undergrowth towards the coast. As they reach the beach, all three are stopped in their tracks by the sight of conquistador ships anchored off the coast, and Europeans making their way ashore holding up a large cross. Jaguar Paw escapes while the two raiders remain, seemingly mesmerized, at the conquistador's presence. Jaguar Paw returns in time to save his family from the flooded pit. He is overjoyed at the sight of his new baby son. Sometime later, as the reunited family look out over the water at the Spanish ships, Jaguar Paw decides not to risk approaching the conquistadors, insisting his family head back into the jungle. They depart in search of a new home. Screenplay Screenwriter and co-producer Fahad Safinia first met Mel Gibson while working as an assistant. During the post-production of The Passion of the Christ, eventually, Gibson and Safinia found time to discuss their mutual love of movies and what excites them about movie making. Gibson said they wanted to shake up the stale action-adventure genre, which he felt was dominated by CGI, stock stories and shallow characters and to create a foot chase that would feel like a car chase that just keeps turning the screws. Gibson and Safinia were also interested in portraying and exploring an ancient culture as it existed before the arrival of the Europeans. Considering both the Aztecs and the Maya, they eventually chose the Maya for their high sophistication and their eventual decline. The two researched ancient Maya history, reading both creation and destruction myths, including sacred texts such as the Popul Vu. In the audio commentary of the film's first DVD release, Safinia states that the old shaman story was modified from an authentic Mesoamerican tale that was retranslated by the young Maya professor Ilario Caicanal, a professor of Maya, into the Yucatec Maya language. For the film, he also served as a dialogue coach during production. As they researched the script, Safinia and Gibson traveled to Guatemala, Costa Rica, and the Yucatan Peninsula to scout filming locations and visit Maya ruins. Striving for a degree of historical accuracy, the filmmakers employed a consultant, Richard D. Hansen, a specialist in the mayor and assistant professor of archaeology at Idaho State University. As director of the Mirador Basin Project, he works to preserve a large swath of the Guatemalan rainforest and its Maya ruins. Gibson has said of Hansen's involvement, Richard's enthusiasm for what he does is infectious. He was able to reassure us and make us feel secure that what we were writing had some authenticity as well as imagination. Other scholars of Mesoamerican history criticized the film for what they said were numerous inaccuracies. See further coverage on the film's questionable historical accuracy and representation of the Maya below under controversy. Numerous scholars have also risen to defend the film citing ignorance of political correctness as the primary motivator for the criticisms. A recent essay by Hansen on the film and a critical commentary on the criticisms of the film is now published. Gibson decided that all the dialogue would be in the Yucatec Maya language. Gibson explains I think hearing a different language allows the audience to completely suspend their own reality and get drawn into the world of the film. And more importantly, this also puts the emphasis on the cinematic visuals, which are a kind of universal language of the heart. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below.
please like and subscribe below.